Good afternoon. It is Saturday. It was almost morning, but I've missed it by 15 minutes. I've basically woken up and spent most of the morning watching Master of None on Netflix. Uh, it's a really, really good show. I really like it. And I've just kind of been blasting through. So I watched like, I think about four of those since I woke up when Sarah went to work this morning. So it's been a hugely productive morning, as you can imagine. But uh, yeah, it's a really good show. And if you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. It's by Aziz Ansari. He's really funny. I just really, really enjoy the show. I think they've done a really, really good job with season two, which has just come out. Uh, I'm about to cook a bacon sandwich for breakfast because it's the weekend. So dieting doesn't count. And then I think I might go into town. I have a feeling Sarah's lunch is kind of later in the afternoon, so I'm going to eat a sandwich and then see where we're at that, with that. That is a hard sentence to say this early in the morning. So I ended up with two sandwiches. In my defense, the bread is smaller than usual and I put salad in it, so that makes it healthy. And that is a true fact, 100%. So just been browsing the internet, listening to some music, and I'm about ready to go outside. It has been raining for most of this morning. Well, afternoon, but... So I haven't done anything yet because I was waiting for it to stop, but it looks like it has and I think it's late enough in the afternoon that Sarah might be on lunch around when I'm in town. So we're going to go head into town in a second. It's a pretty grim and rubbish looking day and a pigeon just flew into the back of me, literally straight into the back of me. This is a weird, weird day. Kind of sort of aimlessly looking in a bunch of shops. It's uh, not payday for like another week, but well, I was just over. So I'm definitely not going to buy anything. It's just... Wanted to have a look around, get some fresh air, you know, kind of actually do something with my day for a change. One of these days we're going to have a garden and I'm going to have one of these totally awesome huge giant barbecues. It's Sarah. Got a Costa drink with beach balls and stuff all over it. I'm always in Costa. I do eat lunches at work, but not today. <laughs> and not usually on days that I'm meeting you, because if I'm meeting you, you're by definition not in your work office, so. Mm -hmm. That's fair. It's giving me a brain freeze. Oh no. Having a look at the beauty stuff in MS. Greg won't pass night. Smell it. It does smell good. Yeah, it does smell. Well, they do it in a shower gel, but let's be real, I do not need any more shower gel We've already got loads. Okay. We're looking at hats, but Sarah doesn't really suit hats. Sarah does not suit hats. No. Unfortunately not. Also, I've got my head, head, head up. My head up, so you won't be able to do that. <laughs> You should try that one on. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. A tiny little greenhouse inside. But there's no windows. No. But there's stuff in it. Stuff to look at. You don't need a radio. You don't listen to the radio. No, I don't. Chocolate. Let's go out the greenhouse now. Wasn't as fun as you were expecting, was it? It's not the windows. I keep thinking that our windows never fit. <laughs> So I had to go back to work, so I'm heading home. I was gonna go check out Forbidden Planet, but I realized that I'm actually spending a lot of time in Forbidden Planet lately. I've been like the last few weekends in a row. And so, oh God, I'm overexposed. That's better. So yeah, I've kind of realized that I'm just seeing the same sort of stuff every week, and I'm still not really particularly looking for anything. So I'm just giving it a miss. I'm just going straight home. I'm just absolutely plowing through Master of None series two. I have one episode left after this one. Uh, I'm really enjoying it and they talk about food almost as much as I do, which is just great. Sarah is still at work, she's going to be back later and I am being lazy uh, and I need to clean some stuff and tidy some things up in a minute so I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to do that right away. Oh, stretch. Ugh. Finished with Master of None, really good season, kind of regret plying through it a little bit though. Uh, I was intending for that to last me a little bit longer. I literally only started watching it like a few days ago. Never mind. I'm sure there'll be another TV show that comes along that I can catch up on and probably binge right away. Sarah is back from work. And Sarah can't be bothered to cook. So we might be- We're just looking at delivery. Might be trying to look at a delivery. Just having a look. We can get alcohol from Hooch and Candy. 
Pan American Sweets. KFC on delivery. Which is weird. Bubble tea. Mm. Chimichanga. Mm. Cabana. Shrimp. Cow. We've been to Shrimp and Burger, haven't we? We have. They do pretty good burgers. I wasn't overly sold. Five Guys. Ah. Uh, I'm Mexico. thinking GBK, so I've never had a GBK before. Well, the diner deliver as well. That's pretty cool. We should have a look at that as well. All these places. Revs deliver. Byron. Yeah, it's because of all the new pick TGIs. TGIs deliver, that's weird. Wagamamas. I've had a Wagamamas. Franco Manco. Manca. Burger King. <laughs> yeah, let's get delivery Burger King. Bills. Chalk Valley Farm. Brewdog. Yeah, Brewdog will deliver you like a four pack. That's ridiculous. Like if TGI you run out of beer. Tries. I suppose these ones you aren't open yet. So we're going to have a look and see. Have a little look. Look at the diner. Unfortunately, it looks like GBK is probably a bit of a bust. You can't customize the burger. And there's a couple of things we'd like to take out of the ones that we wanted to get. So we will just go there in person at some point instead of making them bring it to us. This sounds amazing. Beer battered halloumi, fat chips, mushy peas and tartar sauce from Revolution. Ah. I think one sells Revolutions now and no longer vodka revs. Yeah, I think they wanted more people to go there, not just to get drunk. That's why you go to refs. <laughs> <laughs> and they're 50% off food. Yeah. Which we don't get anymore because we're not students. You didn't have to be a student. Didn't you? Nope, it was just every Monday, 50% off food. So mm -hmm. we planned an entire trip to Florida there. Like, weekly. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. Constantly. Every week for like three months. It was great. Since Sarah can't really be bothered to cook still, <laughs> And the website wasn't helpful. It wasn't really giving us what we wanted. We wanted to We're somewhere. actually having to go out Ugh. and get the food ourselves, like some kind of people living in a time before delivery. What is this? The Middle Ages? <sighs> Not okay. So we are taking a little car trip, going on a little food adventure. Food adventure. Try and get something to eat that's tasty and we don't have to cook ourselves. I know it's still light out, but I'm going to turn my lights on because I know I just forget. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get dark, I'll be like, why is it so dark? And I'll be like, oh, I can turn my lights on. Or it could seem like one of those cars that automatically they like to change. I could be like... <laughs> no one thinks that your car is that oh. sophisticated. Oh no. So we've changed our plans yet again and now we're actually just going to eat in instead. Oh Makes things a lot easier. Here. We might as well. <laughs> and parking was free, so... Yeah. What are you going to get? Sarah has a standard milkshake. Oreo, my favourite. It's a really cold glass mm. though. You should try it. It's really good. It's one of the best Oreo milkshakes I've had. Look how cool these onion rings look. They look really good. They have a really cool hot sauce here. It's kiwi fruit and habanero. Sarah thinks it's really hot. I just I think, think it's really, really nice. I wasn't expecting it. Definitely pretty hot, but pretty nice. They didn't have the burger I actually wanted, which was a chicken katsu burger with a black sesame bun. So instead, I swapped out my order. I think they were expecting me to just say it was okay to not have it with the black bun, but I wanted the black bun. So that's my burger and that one's Sarah's. They're pretty good burgers. Now I just can't wait for my truffle cheese fries. Oh yeah, your cheese fries. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> These smell pretty amazing. Oh, it's my hand <laughs> So we had a good meal. It was uh, nice to go out for food, actually. Yeah, it and, was. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed my burger. It was uh, not what I expected, but it was good. Well, it's not what you ordered. Yeah, it's not what I ordered, but it's not, it was good nonetheless. We're just sort of driving back now. We're trying to navigate through the like the London Road, Bedford Place area. She's full of drunk people right now, but because we both used to live down here. Well, no, you didn't actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I used to live down um, Burlington Road, and then I used to live on Carlton Place. Um, we know basically where everyone's going to jump out from so we know all the good yeah i can just cross here spots like this so, bit is yeah. where i'm coming up and it's like oh right. so uh we're, then, we're pretty good we're down going down what's called kebab alley which is where all the like i don't know if you can see all the takeaways all lit up like it's like christmas but for drunk people i think that one's got a neon sign there I think oh, it's not focusing one. but oh. this is like the nicest sight at 3 a.m when oh, you're heading home the best, isn't it? you're like yes all the, sh oh, the bright we lights. Gonna... This road over there is called Station Hill and it's like the worst road in Southampton. You hate it, don't you? I've only driven up it once. And twice, that's enough. Twice. Once within my lessons because my instructor was like, if you live in the city centre, 
you're gonna need to learn how to this hill and I'm like well, or I could learn how to avoid the hill <laughs> it's a crazy steep hill that goes straight into traffic lights at the top and like no one really knows where they're going on these because they're so wide that there's the loads of different paths you can take and routes across it it's just not a very well laid out area yeah if you know where you're going in this area you're fine but it's one of those oh, I found Bristol's like that though if you don't know where you're going in Bristol you're gonna get I just hated that big roundabout do you remember it in Bristol every time we go see mm. Vanessa I'm like I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, Station Hill, not a good one. Not the best. And we walked up that hill, didn't we, with our bags once? Like our Florida suitcases, didn't we? Or did we go um, the other way around? We did go up that way. Because you're like, it'll be quicker. And I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> I've just been on a two week holiday. I'm jet lagged. Because we had to wait like two and a half hours at the airport for our coach. And then a three hour coach back and it was raining. It wasn't that hill, it was the um the one on the other side. It's I mean they still go to the same place, so it's like it's yeah. still the same hill at some point. Yeah. Which oh there's someone crossing. I was like, I hate when people press buttons and then don't cross. <laughs> Sarah's requested that we make a detour. Just a little stop off. Because you may have seen from our Instagram, but currently there are giant snails out in front of the watermark center. So we're gonna go see them. This is one of the little watchtower sections called Catch Cold Tower of our historic city walls. I've never actually been up here. I didn't realize you could get up this little bit. And these are some of the oldest surviving city walls in the UK, apart from Bath. I think I've said that before in a vlog, but Bath is stealing our thunder by having older ones. But we're pretty proud of ours. They've stood for a long time and they run like in several sections throughout the city. So that's the bit we were just up. And down here there are snails. They're way bigger than I thought they were when Sarah first sent me a picture. They're literally actual giant snails. It's cool seeing all the walls again because while they were building the watermark pretty much all of this was like fenced off and like you couldn't see any of it but I'm glad that they're all all out on display now because it's it is really cool like it is just history but it is really really cool giant blue snail giant blue snail white snail yellow snail and right in the background a red one and then all the cocktail bars and up there is the really nice cinema that we go to I'm really pleased with how all of this area turned out. It's really cool. Uh, the green one. Green one. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. In real life, it's terrifying me. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Oh, you said how much is called the watermark? Yes. No, it's not called that anymore. It's the whiskey stuff. Well, it's going to be the watermark to me for a long time because I'm really bad at remembering when things change names, but West Keys South, apparently. <laughs> that was no reason I just wanted to. I liked <laughs> Let's go back to the car. Yeah. I'm not paid for a ticket. Ah. Good morning. After yesterday's indecisive and kind of just grey day, it's actually really nice outside. And Sarah's about. Hello, not for long. So I'm here for a bit. Here for a little bit. I've got at least got take through the night tonight, so. I tried to sleep in really late and then the neighbours decided to play music at like nine. Because of course they did. Because, you know, because they always do it at night. Maybe the day that Sarah needs a lay in, do it in the morning. Yeah. So I just thought I'd fill you all in with what I'm doing currently. Um, I really need to start getting ready for work soon because I'm uh, meeting one of the girls for lunch beforehand so we can actually get some food um, before we work through the night. But I was just scrolling through YouTube and because I have my own like YouTube account, it doesn't have any videos or anything, it's just what I watch stuff from. Um, and I'm obviously subscribed to our channel because why wouldn't I be? That. <laughs> that I, I was scrolling through and one of our videos came up as a recommendation and I really liked my hair in it. And I was like, oh, I don't remember what my hair looked like when it was that short. So I watched the video and then I was like, oh man, this is really old. So I then like, oh, I wonder what our first vlog looked like. And then I found like the older vlogs. 
So this is the very first non-Disney vlog we did and it was a day out in London and seeing Aladdin on stage where we went for my birthday. And we're filming with the GoPro and it looks so rubbish but it's like also really nostalgic. So I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of this one. And I kind of want to watch a bit of when we went to Blue Water because I just want to see the rage of me when our car broke down. Um, and then I need to get ready for work. So that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm literally, hold on, let me, let me turn you around one second. So yeah, I'm literally watching this. Then I need to put the washing away. And then, because I'm trying to keep the house tidy. And then I need to get ready for work. So this is what I'm currently doing. Ash is playing games. Standard. Sarah has done something fun. Well, I just over lent because I went to, to dampen my beauty blender and then I over lent over my sink and it was in the sink. Oh like dear. And then I got wet. <laughs> I think, for some reason. Oh. Why don't you think? So, yeah, that's what I've just done. <laughs> just probably drive the hair dry on. Hmm? Why is it pink there? I don't know why it's pink. Can you see it? A little bit. Aww. Oh dear. Sarah's off at work and I wasn't planning on doing anything this afternoon but Sarah's tipped me off to something that might be quite cool. So I'm just on my way to try and check that out. Uh, this could be really, really exciting. Well, for me anyway. Probably not exciting to view as part of the vlog, but exciting for me. That's kind of annoying. There's a bunch of people loitering by what I was going to look at. But there's uh, one of my photos up on the wall outside of the restaurant that I did some work for. So that's really, really awesome. And just incredibly cool to see my photos out there in the wild. So that was fun to see. Kind of a shame about the people stood in front of it. Would have been cool to show off my work actually being used, but I'm sure I'll walk past some point during the week and I'll maybe try and get like a, a photo of it to put up in the vlog here or if I don't maybe I won't but um yeah it's just always really it's actually really really awesome to see like I'm so pleased with that they haven't done the inside menus yet so I'm sure I'll be back to show those once they're done as well but yeah that was really really awesome I'm glad Sarah spotted it as she walked past so last week while we were editing Sarah had a face mask on and uh that looked a little bit weird on camera as we'll bet see in a second. This week though, Sarah looks even weirder because she's not here. And I'm doing all the editing uh, because Sarah has gone to work and was not going to be back before this evening. So I'm going to do like a rough edit and then she's going to look it over before she goes to bed, which will be early tomorrow morning probably. So yeah, it's been going fine. It's a pretty long one just because of uh, all the stuff I shot in London, but I'm pretty happy with it. and. Um, there's been nowhere that I've gotten stuck so far. I'm just sort of going through it. Time for dinner and I'm continuing the unhealthy eating from yesterday. I'm having a burger. I'm having a fried chicken burger with some barbecue sauce, some sweet potato fries and some mozzarella sticks. I was gonna put some salad with it, but it went off. So the only vegetables I'm eating are the pickles inside the burger, which I'm kind of okay with. It's the weekend, so that makes it fine. Watching some CSGO and just sort of, uh, yeah, enjoying my food. So it's a bit later in the evening. Sarah's still at work. She's going to be back, I don't know, probably really early this morning, which is a shame. So I'm going to sign off here and we will see you next weekend. Thank you for watching. Uh, if anything randomly amazing happens between now and when I go to bed, I will, of course, update you all. But chances of that are really, really slim. So I'm just going to run a bath, watch some TV, and then go to bed. So, see you next week. Bye. So it is four minutes past 12, but I just wanted to say goodbye to the vlog because I came back from work. So thank you for watching this weekend, everyone. Bye. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm really tired. Thank you for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and why not subscribe to our channel? You can also check out one of our other videos that should be on screen right about now.